Welcome back, guys, to Fire Emblem Path of Radiance as we advance on Jill's father, Shillaham, with only a few troops remaining over here. We wonder how well our advance goes with a troop about to cast Shine over and another Spoman about to attack Ike as well. We're going to go visit ourselves some houses first before we do anything as Marcia ends the turn. Hold on, youngster. Who do you think you are? You can't just come barging into people's homes. Let me tell you something. You can ransack my home all you want, but you'll find nothing of value here. All our young men have been dragged off to war, and all that's left are women and children. If it's gold you're after, take that scroll on the floor there. You may be able to sell it. It's just something I picked up, so I don't know if it has any value. But take it anyway, you dirty thief. I don't really think I need to be thieving things if I'm riding a Pegasus. I mean, it's like read the mood kind of moment, I don't know. But let's get Marcia into a position where she can start to try to affect things a little bit more. As one of our only flying units here. Because we need to take out a certain magic caster. As a certain magic caster targets Mia with his ability. And fells miserably. Of course, he could double on anyone, so... And now comes Mr. Longbow, but pulled out of position and pulled nearer to us means that of course we can abuse that anyway, so we're quite happy with that. As Ike just shrugs it off, as most of our people have done this chapter. Oh, new enemies appearing. Enemies appearing down there. Two guys with Elwind, one with Heal, one is a Sage. Right. Whoever goes to deal with these reinforcements is going to be stuck there. I need you to be able to take this one down, but now we've got, like, loads of guys around. Uh. Right then, we're obviously not still in spell range. So, it's all about just starting the advance even further and taking some more down. Soren, do you want to get a heal on Mia? Because I think that's the only thing you can do being at your range. Well, that'll work out quite nicely for me. Right, so we've got a guy over there, and well, first of all, this one will be taken out very nicely by Miss Blade. You can try to cast Shine at me, but I'll probably just resist most of it anyway, if I don't straight dodge it. Because no one wants to get hit, you know. You wouldn't want to get hit if you were wearing as little armor as Mist. A horse is more armored. And we got ourselves a Shine Scroll, so let's send that one back. And look about our favorite advancement. We'll put you in the corner, madame. Right, Mia at level 2, Neff still trying to level up a bit further here. We got two Steel Lance guys coming in. It's time to pick our spot to lure. Which is obviously going to be right there anyway. All right then, can you take out the... Well, that, that's not a problem. That is not a problem, right. We don't have anything stronger in terms of beating armor. But we don't need it. Because we do have a certain lordling behind us. Newly lorded. We got ourselves a provoke scroll there. With an armor slayer as well, though he's leveling kind of above the grade, if you know what I mean. No armor slayer over here. It's all a question of where I want to go when. Obviously, whoever pitches forward here is going to be targeted by this blizzard. What I want to know is then the movement range of you. And from there, I can maybe stick Oki here and Ike over here for the time being. That might split up the damage, it might not. We might get a Blizzard cast on our Lagoos, but I reckon he will not get doubled and he will probably in the most likely survive it. Armor Slayer here in case Mr. Armor Guy comes down onto Ike out of all the targets he can choose from. Mia moves up. There's a gap in our forces, but we should be fine. I sent a Danya over here. Boyd over here. And if anything, it's going to be 
Rolf and Marcia dealing with the troops from this side. So two steel lances, nothing more. Okay, javelins as well. Right. It's too bad we just can't one-shot you, but we could go longbow style and just stay well out the way and then Marcia takes down the other spellcaster. Now he's got an Elwin, but this time we've got the armor guardy thing actually equipped. Ha 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 ha. And he's not going to do much to us. So I think that's a good strategy, don't you? I mean, Marcia's not in the right position, but Oki can be this guy that kind of like just jumps over and smashes. Elwin did one damage! Marcia's like, thank you for the experience. Thank you very much. Especially because you're a promoted unit. That means I get just a bit more. Right, so of course we could try to challenge these guys, but I'm going to go to here. We shall lower the profile available to attack Rolf a little bit, I think, from the flyers. Probably only one will be able to attack, then the other one will have to use a javelin. Maybe. If they choose that, because they'll probably just both javelin Marcia at this point. If that's the case. Try to learn the AI more, because then we can actually use it as a plan, if you know what I mean. Well, no, they can pretty much get in an attack roll, but the thing is, there's one of them can javelin, one of them can't, and who cares, because Rolf's got 16 defense and he's not going to get doubled. Pretty much my response there. And who have we got left to move? Why, Reese, it's you. Trying to go, I can fight too! No, you can't. That's why we're trying to get you level up, but everyone is now too high level. And they just kind of don't care. They just dodge everything, and no healing's required. Despite the fact that I now have three healers on the field. More than ever! In fact, Soren's been pretty much healing for everyone. So yeah, javelin on Marcia because she can't fight back. Javelin on Marcia because she can't fight back. Of course, they could melee Rolf, and he can't fight back, but they're not going to do much either way. We've queued up the attack here for Olki. We probably won't take the opponent. Well, we'll see. Not going to get hit, that's for sure. Easily going to double. See, I wouldn't mess with that. It's bigger than you. Those claws. Stupid. Basically is the best way to put it. And now we start to lure the armor. And why have we got an iron lance, of course? Because this way it allows us to divvy out a bit more experience. As Neff looks really cool. Now, you're obviously going to choose to attack Neff. and you can't attack Neff, can you? We've got ourselves a swordmaster coming in as well. Now, I imagine most of these guys are going to stay very, very still, but if I'm right in saying your weakness is wind. Even though your Laguz and Laguz's weakness is fire, I think yours is wind. So you can't attack this guy from here. Oh, you can attack this guy from here, okay. Which will easily take him down. Can I then retreat from here? That'd be brilliant, wouldn't it? And I don't think Mr. Arrive Point Defender is going to move. So now it's just get the people into the right places and smash down your enemies. Which, to be honest, you're pretty glad of. I get to attack again, rather than heal? I how poor Reese feels. Miss Bean going, I've got a sword now, smack you in the face. Special, special sword. And Sorin levels up. Well, level, come on, bit better. I'd say the levels I've been getting overall at the moment are a bit lackluster. I'd say they are right, so. How do we continue our advance? Kind of want to put Neff into a spot where she can mess people up. And I kind of want Oki to take this guy down. That's pretty much the be all and end all of that. Oki's going to get rid of the long range spellcaster with a critical hit. Second attack, of course. Not that you could be attacked back on the first. And go, hey, I got some experience, mum! At the point you got promoted unit experience, which actually means something on a Laguz. 
Right, so you can be attacked by the Mercenary Swordmaster now over there. That's if you really want to. I would not recommend it, personally. Right, we have Mist who could go, Haha, I can attack you! Except that's probably a really bad idea with the weaponry. Tania, however, could probably just bust along and get in there. So could Mia, probably, but... Again, we're kind of lacking things to be able to break through. Though we could do it this way. Then Ike could step forward, armor slayer this guy. And it would be ain't no thing. Yes, I am speaking weird lately. Oh, well, armor slayer won't actually finish him. But, if you think about it, you kind of expect this time for our skill to prop. No? Oh, Ike, you did damage! This is not like you. You armor slayer looks fancy. Right, so we got 5 HP to peel off of this one. Void, you may as well just get moving as fast as possible. And just shove people because you're an angry, angry man. Right, Titania can come in and finish that one. Titania can come in and finish the other one. You know what's probably better? Titania takes out that one over there and Mia takes out this one here. If we do let that go to Mia, because... Oh, what? I thought you were Iron Blade. Oh, okay, we've got one charge of Mia Steel and one charge will do it. Especially if it's your criticals. Don't worry, I only get criticals when they're useless. My motto, that is. The Mia still broke. The original lightsaber has ended its tenure. Right, apart from that, let's just block the hole. For the time being, anyway. Iron Lance will be fine. That blocks that gap. Mist is there, but Titania's the one going to come in and smack down. Alright, do we have anything that could just take you down in one? Oh, the Lagoos Axe! We use you for everything but Lagoos! When? Yeah! Oh well. It's there to be used. One charge of that versus two charges of other weapons. Do you know what? I completely forgot there's a house here. Don't worry, I'll remedy that. You! You filthy Crimean! Get out! Get out now! There's nothing in this shack that would make you happy! Oh, so you won't leave till you get something? Is that it? Here! Take this old staff! Now hit the road! You've no need to steal anything else from us, or will you take my life as well? In that last skirmish, my boy, my only son, you stole his life. Curse you! I hope you're satisfied. Oh, okay. I was thinking about it. Mist actually has been beating up people, but we've got a rescue staff. That's kind of useful. But the human cost is part of what, you know, a war is about as well. And it's probably not been so great. But either way, the only thing we could do is keep on fighting versus an enemy that does seem reluctant to fight us, but that is what circumstance is sometimes. I mean, everyone's heard the story of the German army and, you know, the UK, the Allies, all that kind of jazz, stopping the war on Christmas Day, wasn't it? And playing football across no man's land, everyone's heard that story. Well, that's a fairly nice level as well. Some extra strength is always welcome. Well, that's the things about circumstance, if you know what I mean. Well, Marcia is going to be in a good place to be able to really get in a second. However, it seems that she's not going to be able to stop this guy as well as I'd like unless the Killer Lance comes out. No, no, no. Don't stab him like that. You've got to twirl it around your head a bit. Not teach these people these things. But yeah, everything's going a lot more simpler now we've been promoted, isn't it? Right, so we've got the elf fire over here, we've got this guy. To be honest, I might just go part way up the mountain at this point in time. It gives me a lot of nice areas to attack from. I don't mind being attacked by the short spear here. I do mind being attacked by a tomahawk. But either way, we of course going to dodge. Now we get to see if Mr. Big Guy moves. Because normally, if that's the case, we wouldn't have usually had 
Yes, this ain't going so great, really. Normally his around-about troops wouldn't have moved as well. If they're active and able to move, of course you're going to attack Olki, sir. I'd expect Mr. Fire Guy to attack as well. Doesn't mean you're going to defeat Olki, however. You are going to level him up, though. The level 8 Hawk. Has he gained some magic? Because, yes, Hawks need magic. The magically powered Hawk. And more enemies appear right then. So if you're going to appear there... I guess you may as well stay and keep trying to mess with these guys, hey, Titania? Hey, it's attack experience. We're not going to say no to that. That's half his HP, and then when he attacks us, Titania's going to level up again. Unless we let someone else get in, of course. That is an option for us here. Well, let's join her up with the front lines. We know that we can, and of course, we could get, like, Sorin across to be able to do that, or even Boyd in. Right, so now we've got Marcia versus these two, or versus this guy. So we could just nip in, take out a spellcaster, and run away again. Run away! In quite gleeful fashion. Right, javelin times two is kind of how I want to do it, because the other guys are trying to short spear me. So I kind of want to be able to return a little bit of damage, so let's hope that both of these hit. Once this guy's down... That front gate's ours. So she can get some nice attack experience here now, and if she moves back as far as possible, no, we're not going to be able to get... Actually, we are. Right, move to here. Because that still puts you in range of the boss. Most importantly, it puts Rolf in range once these guys try to range her. So turn 7 is literally when, uh, yeah, we can knock on the gates from here, but we're not going to because we've got turns to spare. Let's use them up. First of all, just get forward as far as possible. Who's the least HP here? Yeah, pretty sure it was Ike. So Ike and Neff can go forward as the ultra strong frontline core that they are. We've got no spellcasters except for one to worry about, but we know they're pretty much down at this point. We could even get in and just javelin or something. I don't think Mist is going to move after all. It's a shame that's all we can do, however. Unless... We shove you uphill. Then we can really do some damage. I don't want this to be a ranged war. Still, the question is if this guy will move or not, but I really don't think he will. I think we're fine. So either way, we can get to his face and do it, or we can pin over there. Ah, uh, let's javelin him anyway. The reason for that is because we've got all those dragon troops around us. Please miss. Oh, that's not what I wanted. And they've all got ranged weapons as well. So let's just make sure that I'm not the one targeted. And to be honest, if we want someone targeted, what we'll do is we'll move Ike up and that will pull the aggro, which means Rolf will be pretty useless down there. But still, strength, skill and speed. Hey, more damage is all that suits me. Right then, Ike, let's get you over to about here. Oh, that is in range of both of them, isn't it? Yes, it is. And we'll just get you standing around with... I don't know, just any old sword will do. Steel sword there. That means he's now the official lure. The only other thing I can't do is stop... Yeah, I'm going to have to take you out with Olki. 
I don't want Neff taking any more damage than she already has. Not the... I think, to be honest, with the Steel Sword Myrmidon, Neff would just go her and just step to the side gradually, but Oki deserves a KO every now and then, doesn't he? And then we can move even you to the edge of edge of the land, I'd say. Wait there. And then if we've got any more healing to do on people, but we don't, but we can just move over and smash over there. We've got Rolf still to move, so let's Say that we're here, ready to go. But first of all, oh, that's way too close. Unless I Elwind, of course, or even use a Thunder. Why get in attack range, though, when you can stay out of attack range? That's really the question. Even if you can definitely 100% KO them, and proc your ability to be able to do even more, you don't need to be there, so why be there? Farewell to you, sir. As now, we all focus on, well, one of three troops, really. Shilohan! We'll meet you next episode. Join us then for more Fire Emblem. I'll see you guys around. Bye-bye.